Let's say a user's logged into our site and they become preoccupied by something else, returning to our site several hours later. Within those passing hours, our system has logged out that user due to their inactivity. Now, whenever they return back to their site, it's going to still display the same as it did prior. The current page as we have it does not know that the user's session is now inactive. So if we were to try to go to a protected page or submit some kind of a form, our user would be met with an error since this current page load did not know that they were allowed to do that. Now today we're going to be discussing how we can remedy this by checking the user's session whenever they return back to our site. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is jump into our code base and provide ourselves some kind of a way to actually check the user's session. For this, we're going to want to define an API route. So let's do route get API user check. This will go to our users controller. We'll just call this method check as API user check will be the name for that route. For the actual route handler here, our check method, we'll jump into our users controller and we'll do public async check. For this particular use case, all that we care about is whether or not the user is logged in or not. Uh, that's going to enable or disable everything that the user goes off of with our session. So all that we need to do here is return back We'll do bang bang auth user. That's just going to turn our auth user check here into a Boolean and kick that back as our response. So now we have the API endpoint set up that we'll need to use to check whether or not the user is currently authenticated. Now, we'll only want to do this whenever they return back to our site after some time of inactivity. Usually this is going to be the browser session focus is lost. So what we can do is utilize the browser's on focus event handler to determine whether or not the user has returned back to our site's tab or the browser as a whole with our site as the active tab. So for this, let's jump into our app.js file. Within here, I'm just going to tack this directly on the window as on focus. This will be an async function. Now we don't need the on focus event here, so we're just going to go ahead and leave that out of our function. And we'll do const, we'll get back our data, and we'll call this is authenticated from await Axios. You could also use something like fetch here, but I already have Axios set up within this project. And we'll just do a get request out to our API user check endpoint. So with this is authenticated flag here that we're getting back, what we're going to want to do is perform some kind of a check to determine whether or not the user was previously logged in and whether or not they currently are not logged in. So whether or not that changed with this particular check call. So within our layout, so we can go layout, mine's called app. Within our client JavaScript, we can go ahead and provide ourselves an is authenticated flag so that we can check it within that particular on focus event handler. Now, in most cases, you'll be able to just dive down into a script, provide that like so. So you'll be able to do window is authenticated equals auth user. In my particular use case, I'm using unpoly here. So I'm going to utilize the alpine.js is init attribute handler to plop that directly onto the scope from my up main element so that this gets updated every time a user traverses to a new page. So here I will do x init equals, and then just tack that directly on the window as is authenticated equals bang bang auth user, just like so. So now that we have that defined on the global scope, we have it accessible here within our window on focus event handler. So we can do if window dot is authenticated and not currently authenticated, we'll go ahead and kick them off to a separate page that will handle this discrepancy. So let's send them to a route called go auth and reset. Lastly, let's go ahead and define that route. So routes, we have our go section right here. So I'm going to do route dot and this will be a get request go auth reset. This will go to our go controller and call it auth reset as go auth reset. Within our go controller, we will have a public async auth reset. Within our context, we will want our response and our session. All that we're going to want to do is notify the user that their session has been expired. So we'll want to provide them some kind of a warning here. Your session has expired. And then let's just kick them back to the previous page. So we can return, response, redirect, and go back. Now, if that redirected page is protected by an authentication middleware, uh, that middleware will go ahead and kick them off to whatever page that middleware redirects to. In our case, it's the login page. And if you have followed our previous lesson on redirecting a user back to their previous page after login, I'll link that down below in case you haven't, our entire flow will be very seamless. And you'll see that flow here in a brief bit. Now, what we need to do is go ahead and test this out. We can simplify this for ourselves by jumping into our configuration. So let's dive down into our config for our session. And within the session configuration here, there will be this age method. And by default, it'll be set to something like two hours. So to test this, we could either wait two hours or we can set this to something like one minute. Go ahead and dive back into our application here. Let me go ahead and refresh. I think I'm going to need to log out and re-log back in. Sure enough, let me go ahead and sign out. Okay, 
Let me go ahead and sign back in. This will just reset my session so that we get it set to just that one minute. We are logged back in. So now we'll just wait a minute. All right, so we should be all set. Now, my focus is currently outside of the browser. The second that I click back inside of the browser, our session should refresh and I should be logged out. So let's go ahead and click in here. And you can see that did indeed happen. And I got a message saying your session has expired. So that seems to be working a okay. Now let's do that flow one more time, but this time let's leave it on an authentication protected page. So let's go ahead and sign in. Okay. Now I have my menu here is an authentication protected page. So I'm just going to go ahead and refresh into there so that it goes up into the full width here so that we can easily determine we are indeed on this page. Okay. So I will leave it here for a minute. And this time what I'm going to do is go ahead and click off onto a separate tab. So let me go ahead and just come into here. Okay. So a minute has passed. We should be all good to jump back into our browser tab here. And again, we should be unauthenticated. So our session should expire. However, we should be redirected to the login page now since we're on an auth protected page. So I'm going to go ahead and click back in. Boom, there we go. Your session has expired. We are now at the login page. And since this site has enacted our redirecting user back to their previous page after login lesson requirements here, what will happen is whenever I log back in, I'll be taken right back to my menu where I left off. So let's go ahead and log back in and voila, we're right back at the user menu. So that's a really nice flow for the user to go through. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one.